I decided against it. But before we start today's stream, I have a little little goody good, a little a little special for early gang. You guys know I love early gang, early gang. People that watch the beginning of the stream because they have no lives. And apparently, Channel 5 News with Andrew Callaghan is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And this guy just keeps releasing. And we have a brand new video, 12 minutes, 13 minutes. Rule March for Rapper rations i am guessing that what, what he's doing is right he often has these meme videos where he sh just shows idiots but sometimes he actually has um very um serious videos like when he was in front of the george floyd trial and stuff and i'm guessing this is a bit of a more serious one maybe i'm just an idiot maybe it's just a bunch of white girls acting like they have to represent africa or some shit i don't know uh there you go meat lancer did you know there's a vermintide patch for chaos waste october 28 uh-huh is Treasure Hunt a good deck for a beginner? What? What? Uh, and we're gonna start today's stream with reacting to Wudu March for Reparations. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so... <laughs> it's, it's starting well. It's starting well. Let's say that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, everybody! Uh -huh means freedom in Swahili! I just want to welcome all of you to... Black I'm, I'm already, I'm already, I have uh, 10 seconds in, I'm totally Today, lost already. I'm totally lost out. already. Why can't I go back? How do you go back on YouTube? I thought it's the, it's sorry guys. Healy. What is I that t-shirt? Black trans queer lives matter. Welcome all of you today and it's thank all of you for actually. coming out to the march for reparations to African people. This is 2019 content? Is it? Why will he, do, this is three years ago, why will he do that? Oh, give yourselves all a round of applause. Yep. I'm a descendant of settlers, and I believe in reparations in order to heal our nation. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's not a serious video. I don't know. Uh, no, it's just the wrong camera filter. This was like a week ago. Oh, okay, it was a week ago. We need to address racially based climate change in order to save our planet, in order to save this race, and we need to give reparations before we're going to be able to heal anything, including our planet. Yeah. Hello, hey. Reparations are a big topic, man, uh, especially in Germany. In Germany, there's a big topic about reparations for certain reasons. For example, Greece wanted reparations for World War II. Uh, weirdly, they wanted that after uh, they went bankrupt. Um, there is... Oh, help me, Germans. There is a... There's an African state that used to be occupied by Germans in the 1900s, and they are asking for reparations. Uh, who, 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 to, is it Togo? Is it? No, is it? I think it's something with N. Namibia, yeah. Namibia is asking Germany for reparations and stuff like that, and um, it's a it's an interesting topic. I don't want to already uh, catch all the little uh, white viewer kids by saying oh, reparations suck. So, yeah, tell me, fuck him, fuck him. Uh, thank you, all you can meet. It's an interesting topic. Obviously, here here's my take on it. Obviously. A society, a modern society, should look at the atrocities of their past and do something about it. For example, uh, which is Namibia and Germany is doing, for example, is that certain artifacts have been stolen from their culture 120 years ago and are now in German museums, English museums, whatever, and giving that back. I, I get that, I get that. But I've always had an issue with, with money reparations, man. Um, because the thing is... This is obviously re a very complex topic, man. A very complex topic that maybe is not for low IQ Twitch chat. The current German taxpayers have nothing to do with World War II or the atrocities of col colonization, right? Me, my dad, and my grandpa didn't do shit to 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 Greece or Namibia, right? So I I've, I don't know, man. If if current day Germans should pay reparations for stuff that happened 200 years ago, but still, there's another good point that these. And I, I, I'm having a liberal stance here. These nations, especially, for example, Namibia, have been held down a bit by colonization. They have been put out, uh, have put behind for decades. I, I really, I get that point. Like when Greece asked reparations, like what the fuck? They literally ask reparations once they went bankrupt. And actually they kind of get, like that is so ridiculous that um, uh, the European Union, uh, led by Germany in this case, has d done a huge money fund for Greece to save Greece, and Greece still has the balls to ask for reparations. That is really weird, man. How do you quantify suffering as well? It's a very complex topic. It's a very complex topic. Um, 
Very complex. I just personally feel like, and here we go, I'm edgy, I'm gonna lose my Paradox sponsorship again. I didn't do shit to anyone, so my taxes should not go to Greece or Namibia. If I'm, I think about that personally, you know. Uh, the argument uh, I'm most sympathetic... I am most sympathetic to is the reparations should be in the form of investments in black communities instead of just giving a check to any random black person. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is if that is even separated from from reparations, man. You should, in the US, for example, invest in black communities because if if the black community is is being risen up, it helps the whole society. That's, but that's separate from reparations, isn't it? But a form of reparations, yeah. Let's just keep watching. It's a very complex topic, obviously, man. Hey, I appreciate you. Uh, you your heart's in the right place. <laughs> but I, I feel like this is like an overreaction, man. You don't need to cry. You've ne you were never involved, man. You probably never were there and see their suffering. Um, are you donating money? Like, calm down, man. Jeez. Damn. Uh, Uhuru. <laughs> Breaking news. Breaking news. Let's see. Let's see. You're watching Channel Five. We should do anything. Again, we can free money. Jeez, man. You're probably wondering what you're watching. I'm your host, Andrew Callahan, and that footage was from the Uhuru Reparations March on the streets of Oakland, California. At the time of this rally, I was a few hours south in Hollywood at an anti-vax march. Here we oh, are, the Channel day. 5 Live, you Worldwide, Hollywood and Vine, Freedom March. But the night before, we caught wind of a very important day, the National Day for African Reparations, hosted by an organization called Uhuru. <laughs> it's only fucking white people. The, the... <laughs> I have to be very careful where I go with this. I don't want to sound like a conservative cunt on the internet, you know? I, I still believe what they're doing is right. It's just so awkward to me that, look, when you have a refugee march in Germany, right? Like Berlin, you have a march for the right of refugees. There's not a single Habibi in there. Maybe two. It's just young white people that mostly have an academic background, man. There's never... I, I sometimes feel like, do they also, like, for example, in Germany, these, these, these marches, do you have any contact to refugees or minorities? Are they... Do you ever talk to them or do you just guess that they need your help, you know? I it's it's always these young white people that feel like they have to it's still a good cause, you know. I don't wanna Huru Solidarity, whose slogan is white solidarity. Look at the black guy in the background. Operations. <laughs> Hosted by I an organization. He's like fucking called Uhuru white Solidarity, over here. whose slogan is white. It's like a white savior mentality in a way, I guess. I agree with that. I feel like that. Um, and I really, I mean this really scientific. I don't want to judge. I don't want to judge you. Don't put me into like a conservative corner. That young white generations in the West, North America, and Europe have this kind of guilt that they see from their parent generations. Young white people, they see all the bad shit that happened, and now they feel a guilt and they want to make up for it, which makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. I wouldn't judge that. Uh, do you work out? Do you think this is the right moment to ask that? You idiot, read the room, you dumb fuck. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, which isn't bad. I just sometimes feel that the kind of measures the young white generation has in order to overcome their guilt sometimes feels odd or wrong. That the, the way they choose just seems... Even sometimes seems as if they just want to stroke, stroke their own ego. You know? Like, if I want to help, you know? Hmm. Thank you, Companion Noob. Sorry, man, my, my keyboard is so, slowly broken, man. It's solidarity with black power. White solidarity with black power. I just always feel, look, I, I, I always feel we want equality, true equality. Imagine, imagine it would be white solidarity with white power. If you would just change the, these words, man. Like, there's a commercial right now in Germany, which is so troublesome to me. Oh, what's that commercial? Germans, you know that commercial? Oh, there's a woman looking for a job. Oh, come on, chat, you know. What is that called? Germans, it's a commercial that's running every day right now in Germany. There's, like, this, this white woman, and she's looking for a job, and then there's a man, and she says, like, fuck him or something. Nobody knows what I'm talking about, Germans? Oh, what is that commercial called? Um, it's everywhere right now. Nobody knows? I'm trying to look for it. I would like to show that. Nobody watches TV. It's all, I, It's even on the fucking... Whatever you got. Let me check, let me check. I can't find it. Not Fanta, it's, it's an app for job finding. Oh, what's that called? Uh, 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 drop finden app werbung. One sec, I want to show that. Toledo? Toledo? Ta Toledo? Is it Toledo? It could be Toledo. Okay, well, wait, wait, wait. Toledo werbung. Nah, I can't find it. I give up. 
I tried to show something. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's a commercial right now that this one. Yeah, this beautiful. You're a great man. This is an app that runs everywhere in Germany right now, right? So it's going to be in German. You're not going to understand. But here, here's where I'm a young liberal man. Um, we're going to watch this. And I'm going to we're going to put on English so you guys understand. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to explain it to you. I just want you to imagine the roles are reversed. The woman is a man and the man is a woman. This commercial indeed, is everywhere indeed. in Germany right now. Also, auf Indeed gibt's unfassbar viele Jobs. Bei so vielen so ist like, bestimmt was dabei. Wie bei einer online partner blah, 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 Bist du eigentlich Single? Now, the attractive woman goes over to the not so attractive woman and says, are you single? Ja, schon. She says yes. And now they show a stupid man who is uh, just putting mustard on his shirt and now she says... Uh, nein. No. Finde nicht. And I, I feel like it's 22... This is where I'm... A, Pure liberal. Imagine the roles reversed. Indeed. This is an unattractive also, man. Auf Indeed gibt's unfassbar viele Jobs. Bei so vielen ist bestimmt was dabei. Wie bei einer online partner suche. The Bist attractive man says, are you ja, single? And schon. then they look at a dumb, ugly woman. Like, this is so reverse, man. So reverse. And I always see this, uh, see this in, in society and also with these movements here. It's not, it's not true equality, man. I don't know. Like, that, that commercial is very troublesome, I think. If you will change, you know? <sighs> What's the point of that ad though? It's... Dude. As white people, we have always upheld the lie that America is the home of freedom and democracy. But the reality is very different. Long before Trump and the cries of fascism, African people were catching hell. Something is wrong with this reality. Because every opportunity and amenity I have uh, has been at the Thanks expense of my black and brown brothers and sisters around the world. You owe money. If you don't give it, we're gonna come take come it. Come to take it. Like that, that, that is my point with liberals. You have a good cause. The idea, what they're saying, isn't that wrong? Black people held down in America, totally makes sense. I'm with you. But the problem with the liberals is like this. Uh, with like uh, the, the hardcore liberals, right? The really crazy, like these guys, man. They're, they're like, hey, here's a point we have. And now we're going completely crazy like the Joker, man. Just fucking do it like an adult and talk like an adult and don't fucking... Yeah, man, we're gonna come for your money, man. Nobody will ever take you serious. No wonder people hate you, dude. You're just shitting on your own movement, man. I, I always called out the left for that. Dude, uh, the left for that. The left for that, T-H-A-T. Fucking, you have good points and do it like an adult, man, and not like... Children, you know. Uh -huh, and I've uh -huh. seen Prince take. Like that guy is the most fucked up dude, man. Have you ever seen his clips, man? Have you ever seen clips of that guy? That guy is so fucking messed up, yeah, dude. Right. So while I and this is the faces of your movement, man. That is fucking ridiculous. I was busy in Hollywood at the anti-vax rally. We said I'm losing all my sponsorships today, but I just want to. Come on, free fucking. I just sent our on. African studies correspondent Saddam to the Bay Area to figure out what the hell's going Saddam. on. Uhuru, we are here at Snow Park. It's uh, one of the whitest parks I've ever seen. We're gonna see the. <laughs> That's why it's called Snow Park. <laughs> uh, Uhuru Solidarity Movement. It's a bunch of white people that believe in uh, African reparations. Oh, he's actually shitting on them. Wait, oh, this is the twist. He's black, but he actually makes jokes of these white people. They want to give us money, so. <laughs> Let's get some money. <laughs> <He's> just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a plot twist. The United States of America was built on stolen land and stolen labor. The African People's Socialist Party was putting forward the figure of $4.1 trillion in unpaid labor. It's really about we as white people confronting our privilege in this system. And not just confronting it ideologically, but... Why is there a guy sleeping in the background? The point is, he has a point. I, I, I know you guys like shitting on the left and <laughs> it's so funny. But you know, they have a point. There is a point there. I just always feel like put it out in a realistic way and not like a fucking maniac. Man, this guy doesn't seem like a maniac. But just be fucking normal about Confronting it. Confronting it actually by giving back. Can I have five dollars? Do you, are you serious? Yes. You got change? Like that is ridiculous. That that is almost disrespectful, man. Like Actually I don't, sorry. I don't sorry. Why is there a guy in the back? Next time. 
<laughs> yeah. You just next, gave him fucking donors. <laughs> What's going on? We're here uh, marching for reparations for African people. We want reparations. How would you like to see like reparations being used like in the black community? I think that's up to the black people and how they want to do it. That's the point. They don't do the research sometimes in fields, man. They don't sit down and, and do the research, man. That's that's true. That's true. Uh, can I get five dollars? Of course. Jesus Christ, man. I only have a 20. Uh, is that work? A 20. That works, yeah. Oh, $20. Take. That is, isn't that super disrespectful in the auditory? A white woman giving a black man $20 for that? Uh, you. I love you. King. I love you back. Hey. <laughs> we're with the Freedom Socialist Party, so that we're a socialist, feminist, anti-racist, mm -hmm. international party. Um, again, coming from an anti-capitalist perspective. And that's always my point, man. Uh, that's always my point, you know? Um, oh, do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? I have to think for a sec. Do I want to do this? I'm going to do it because this is who I am. This is who I am. I love my chat and I'm transparent. Listen, I'm going to do this low. I'm going to do this low. You know, I'm going to be respectful about this. As you know, Tommy K and Paradox have never worked with each other, right? Because Paradox has issues with me. Most importantly, that my chat was harassing their streams, which... Fully, I understand. I fully understand that that is not okay. I should have been better and more adult back then uh, and and take care of my community, even though I feel like, what can I do, you know? Thank you, my dog. I really understand that. Another point is that came to my attention is that the reason why Paradox, some Paradox employees uh, are very vehement with their stance on not working with Tommy is that I, I sometimes make certain jokes, stuff like that. And um, yeah, it was told me if uh, told to me if, if I can change that, then maybe something can work. And I, dude, I'm an adult. I understand that. I want to work with them. Sure. But, but here's always my point with, with liberals. These are probably white liberals sitting there in Stockholm uh, um, that don't see the big picture, in my opinion. What what am I doing for people? I'm I'm one of the top transgender channels on Twitch. Once again, can I show this? Can I can I prove that real quick? One sec. Can I prove it again? Ah, uh, wait. It's gone today, but last month. Uh, let me just prove that to to make a point. Uh, I think it's gone now. Yeah, but I, I showed it before, right? Uh, this is this is stuff that people uh, uh, look for on Twitch to find me. And last month, I had 25% transgender. 25% of search results uh, of transgender lead to my... I even have included women. Improv <laughs> and cosplay. I think I've created a community of real equality. Every day, not every day, I'm lying there, but transgender people are texting me, black people are t texting me, young gay guys are texting me that they feel homier, they they like what I'm saying, because I'm including them. I don't put them on a pedestal. This is a channel of equality, man. I make jokes about everybody, and true equality means if I make a joke about a white cis male, I make a joke about a gay guy once in a while or something. A joke that's never meant personal. Because that is true equality. I treat everyone equal, man. I think I'm doing a good job, man. Uh, my whole life I was chilling with Balkan Muslims. I was chilling with the Arabs. I was just playing football with Arabs. This There was not a single German guy playing football with the Arab kids. I did it, man. I And I was talking to them. And then I always wonder. I always wonder. These people that call me out for being edgy and stuff. Making bad jokes. Sitting in Stockholm over there. What the fuck do you do? What the fuck do you do? for minorities do you include them into your communities do you go out uh, chilling out with them and that's always something i feel a little bit offended by man these these blind people look at me and they are like oh, uh, edgy guy edgy guy and fuck edgy man a joke is a fucking joke dude and if you can't take a joke you have a fucking problem dude and there it's abundantly clear if you talk to my chat me my parents or anyone that knows me that i'm in no way shape or form sexist racist or trans homophobic whatever man that is just the truth. And I, I'm not gonna change my character just to appease you and get sponsorships with you, man. I wanna work. I'm gonna be an adult. I am an adult. But I'm not gonna let anyone call me out for being something I'm not. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And once again, I say this, is you shit on your own movement, man. My political compass life on stream, everything I say every day is shows I'm I'm quite liberal. I vote for the Greens, man. Uh, I literally donated money to the Sea Shepherd program. I wonder if you did that, Paradox. Uh, and dude, they shit on me and 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 uh, take away career um, ways, and it's just dumb in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, but this this is how I stand with this. It's ridiculous, man. Uh, thank you, Dance Kilbar. If you can prove in any way, shape, or form that I'm 
behind the scenes the biggest racist uh Heil Hitler Alter. okay man then we can talk man but come on Alter I stand on this channel for true equality if I make a joke about white heterosexuals I also make a joke about gays that will never be personal uh, or, or too hard that has context because that is equality man when you have a friend circle and you only make friends with your cis white male friends your gay friend your your handicapped friend your black friend is gonna feel left out man you're not treating them equal and that's what the left needs to stop putting them all on a pedestal man just fucking make them part of society and community in an adult fucking way man anyway okay we do think that redistributing the wealth and me saying stuff like this costs me sponsors, man. But I can sleep at night. I can fucking sleep at night, man. Did you know that Stay? Stay is a big German streamer, a friend of mine. I was just in his channel yesterday. Stay used to play GTA roleplay. Very successful. He used to be a GTA role player. He did that for, I think, four weeks, five weeks. And he played a black character in GTA roleplay. He then got emailed some weeks ago where people in his chat said, if you don't stop to culturally appropriate the black community by playing a black character in GTA roleplay, we are going to text your sponsors, uh, your partners, and we're going to try to get you canceled with them. What is this, Alter? What is this in Ordnung, Habibi, ey? These, these people that do that are literally shitting on their own fucking movement ideals politics, man. This is so crazy, man. This is so mental. And Ricky Gervais has tweeted something three days ago. Uh, Ricky Gervais hopes that the, the next generation cancels cancer culture. Well, as I, I talked about this before, every generation, new generation rebels against their parents. And I hope that the children of these hardcore left-wingers and also right-wingers is gonna move against that man this cancel culture bullshit man this is so ridiculous and and it's time we all stand up against it man like dave Chappelle did. i watched dave Chappelle's special everybody in this chat watch dave Chappelle's special sticks and stones man there's nothing transphobic there nothing he's even showing and talking that he is pro trans man daphne was his friend man and the fucking it looks like that the trans community on twitter led to the suicide of daphne the comedian the friend of dave Chappelle. it's crazy it is crazy and it literally kills people i'm gonna i'm gonna calm down now but man we have to stand up against this bullshit man we ha you have to stand up against this twitter bullshit dude this come on man uh, okay let's just sorry i totally got into something because i just i feel offended by this shit you know <clears throat> But it is what it is. It is the world, man. But I will be true to myself. Dude, we, we lost many sponsors because of certain edgy jokes. Uh, I, I'm going to be straight up honest. I used to have great relations with Sega and Total War uh, sponsorships. They are now gone because one of our videos was edgy to their team. I don't know which one. But once again, if I look at my videos, if Marconi makes videos, these videos are never meant in any way, shape or form. Homophobic, transphobic, uh, sexist, blah, blah, blah. All this fucking bullshit, man. This is there's jokes happening that are meant to create comedy, not to shit on anyone. There's context and then fuck these sponsors, man. I will live like a homeless person asking for money from a supermarket. If it has to be, at, at least I still have my fucking soul and my fucking brain. Anyway, let's let's stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just. And the worst thing is someone let their dog shit in front of the door, man. Right in front of the door, there is a huge dog poop, man. That that pisses me off even more. Who the f motherfucking piece of shit letting their dog poop in front of the door. Anyway. And I'm actually really thinking about just getting off Twitter, man. I always felt I should have been on Instagram. That would have been better. But t Twitter is Pussy. just... Broke up with my girlfriend last night. Life feels like shit right now. Love you, Legendary Tommy. Zeros, man. Love just you, let chat. time go by. As long, the longer time is, the better you will feel. And uh, put your brain somewhere else. Don't sit around alone drinking alcohol. Go out, do stuff, play games, work out. Uh, put your mind somewhere else. Thank you for the $5, man. <sighs> Joked about the Wood Elves being Viet Cong. If, if the joke, the Wood Elves are like the Viet Cong, if that offends you, then fuck you. I don't need your sponsorship. Ban me. If you're that dumb, man, then dude. I want to. I don't want to live in that world. I'd rather become broke again and my whole career fall apart. At least I'm gonna live life like an upstanding fucking citizen. Mm -hmm. Um, is gonna need to happen for any liberation to really happen. Hell yeah! Can I have five dollars? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the 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 massive reparations. Where it comes from matters, and it needs to be paid by the people that have reaped the benefits. We are for reparations. 
Um, you know, we are, you know, actually working on, a, you know, a pamphlet on what, you know, the specifics should be. But reparations are like a just a like demand. I would like to know you know, when you think. have people that were stolen from their countries and then tell them, oh, hey, you're free now, but we're going to still let people, you know, discriminate against you. You need to make things right through reparations. Well, I'm, I'm using Twitter to, to reach you guys, right, to, to talk to people and stuff. But I oftentimes do. If you ever just want to feel cancer, I don't have Twitter on my PC right now. Wait, I don't have Twitter on my PC. Oh, I don't have Twitter on my PC. If just open Twitter, right? Just open Twitter and then go to search and then look at the top five hashtags. Like you go to search, top hashtag right now is Kimmich. Joshua, Joshua Kimmich, uh, a player for uh, Bavaria Munich said he's unvaccinated. It's the biggest fucking scandal in Germany. And then you get all these people, all these white people uh, just fucking, oh, here's my opinion. <laughs> There's a German football player called Joshua Kimmich. He plays for Bavaria and he's unvaccinated. And it's the biggest thing in Germany right now. It's 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 like the Queen just died, man. It's holy shit. That football star is not vaccinated. We gotta talk about that. And he's very uh, he's very adult about it. He, it was an interview two days ago uh, after a game where he said uh, he's very adult, right? These guys are trained. Listen, I'm unvaccinated. It's a private uh, decision. I still fully support Corona measurements. I do everything. Everybody should get vaccinated. I just personally made the decision, and he gets shit on that like crazy, man. It's it's just tiring. Just tiring. Sometimes I think I should be one of these stale streamers, one of these no these streamers that never take a risk. Hi guys, welcome to my stream. Oh, you want to talk about politics? I'm gonna ban you. Give me all the sponsors. Oh, la, 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 la. fuck that shit, man. Sometimes I think I should have done it. I would probably already have a fucking big house. But at least I still have my fucking balls, dude. And that's mega corporations, and it is the capitalist system. And I don't think it's, yeah, I'd give you five bucks if I had it. But I don't think it's for any individual who's part of the working class. Again, I don't have it the way I. I always feel one day all my talks is going to really get me banned, and then I'm actually going to be like, well, you fucking idiot. You should have just played the role, man. You should have just. Do you guys remember that legendary uh, Dave Chappelle bit where there's a woman with really big boobs? And the bit is called uh, staying true to yourself. Do you guys remember that bit from Chappelle's show where the woman stayed true to herself and in the end she lost everything? Maybe you should sometimes not stay true to yourself, you know, because it's going to just get you in trouble. I should have it under the system either. So it And you're left leaning yourself. Imagine you were a, a moderately right wing streamer. The, the problem is in every movement, if it's feminism, uh, the, whatever it is, the, the dumbest people are the loudest. Feminism, and I know that through Lisa, who's a hardcore, uh, really involved there. Uh, uh, Left-wing stuff, uh, talking about race, Black Lives Matter. There are so many intelligent people there. So many young, intelligent people with great ideas, voices, who are who really could do something. But the problem is these guys are not very loud. They're not shown in videos like this. They're not on Twitter, you know. They're not very loud. It's always the loudest of a movement that, that destroyed for everyone else. It's not so much, I don't think. And again, I want to make sure I, I kind of agree with the core of this stuff. I'm not against this, you know? For any working class or per person to provide that personally, but to be in a movement that's demanding that that happen at a systemic level. And again, tax the rich to get schools, tax the rich to make housing, tax the rich to pay for reparations. That's where like I This would woman makes great points. That was a normal human being you can talk to and not to, ah, we're coming for your money. We're coming for your money. Like that's so counterproductive. Can't forget that media profits of this outrageous get what clicks and money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it sucks for the people that actually, uh, my world has been widened so hard to feminism since I know Lisa. Lisa really cares about feminism. Just today, I listened to the latest episode of Lanz, all my German friends. It was about Julian Reichelt and his sex scandal. And it's such a massive and important thing, man. There's great points and it makes so much sense. But a lot of you kids only see feminist fail cringe on YouTube, right? Where you see all the crazy ones. But there's great, great, great uh, ideas in these movements that unfortunately are not so seen to for a bright mass. If you don't really investigate or what's shown to you. Not a lot of people. Uh, I was just in the city last weekend. There was a massive demonstration and they were all Asian. And here, another great point, what, which is uh, a, a massive issue in society. So last weekend, there was a demonstration in the in Leipzig, in the city. Big city, right? And they were all Asians. They were all looking Chinese. And uh, I was like, huh? Chinese demonstration? And it was a demonstration of um, 
of religion, a new religion that is getting uh, hunted in China. They were wearing yellow. It was, does anyone know the religion? I, I, with F, I think. It was a lot of Asians, literally hundreds, and they were demonstrating for Falun Gong, Falun Gong, the Falun Gong. And, uh, and they were demonstrating. And dude, every two seconds, we were walking past them, and every two seconds, you heard a German say something ultra-racist, man. There was a young kid who made Chinese uh, noises. There was a woman who said, this is Leipzig and not China. And just every two seconds, a German guy will just uh, shit on them, dude. And something that I feel lately, I feel it in traffic, in the supermarket, and TV, and I don't know how you guys feel about this. And this that literally scares me. Empathy is dying, dude. Empathy is dying in society, dude. It wasn't like this 10 years ago, man. I've, back in the day, it was a bit nicer, man. But no empathy anymore. More and more empathy is dying out. No one has the... Uh, no one can uh, think about other humans anymore and how they feel. And, and it's just me, me, me. It, it scares me, man. And, I, and it's going to get worse. I think it's going to get worse. And... Um, dude, every, like, there's no empathy anymore. Nobody thinks anymore. Capitalism... Grisha, you make a good point, but I don't think that uh, Vladimir Putin's system is much better than that, you know? Uh, poisoning your own journalists, man. Um, you know, but it's, it's very, very scary, man. Very scary, dude. So right now, uh, hella people gave speeches, and now we're marching to the front. Like today, I was just, I was driving to a supermarket, there was an old man, an old German man with a, with a, with a thing. And nobody was letting him go over the street, and he was like, "Man, let's be rüber!" And then I let him go, and he's like, "Thank you for fuck's sake!" And then behind me is a taxi who's like, "Come on, drive!" And I'm like, "Dude, there's an old man crossing the street. Open your eyes for two seconds, Alto. Habibie, it's very that's that really really scares me a lot, man. That empathy is dying in capitalist states. Same in Russia, Putin. Uh, what's your name, Grisha? Yeah, Grisha, you're like 12, man. When you're an adult one day, you're gonna realize what your country truly is, man. Just give it some years. Furniture store, the Uhuru Furniture Store. So far, I got 20 bucks. I would've got 25, but the dude didn't have Sorry, change. Sorry, it's not your fault, man. Some it's of these niggas are just broke. How's your car? Uh, my name is Ali Aiello from Oakland, California. That's not her real name. Uh, I remember my parents and my grandparents talking about it ever since the 90s. They say after communism fell, everyone got so cold. I sometimes have a theory that this is going to sound edgy, but that it seems to me that certain events have to bring humans together, like war or famine, poverty, communism, that brings people together. But now we live in a world where we don't have problems anymore, like war and stuff like that, and everybody just money, 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 blah, 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 blah. And it creates this, this in Germany, everybody's just me, 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 me. And what, what are you going to do about that, though, right? I, I don't see something that... I don't see anything you can do about that, you know? And, or I'm not from- I always felt, I literally felt the biggest weakness of the human race is literally greed. If we could overcome greed, we would make, we would go 1000 years into the future, man. <clears throat> or a plague? I mean, look at Corona. Did Corona bring people back together? No, it divided them even more, man. You know, the, the Corona deniers and, and this is my opinion, this is my opinion. Oh, look, I saw this on Facebook, man. Actually, the vaccine is wrong. Oh my God, I thought. It's, it's very, very scary, man, to me, that empathy is dying out. From Oakland, California. I've very lived scary. in Oakland, California uh, since uh, February of this year, and I'm from New Jersey. Yeah. All right, cool. So uh, what are we doing here today? Yeah, so we're out here. Uh, the organization that's putting this on is the Uhuru Solidarity Movement. We're an organization that works under the leadership of the African people. What did Grisha say? Why are you guys? What did he say? He didn't say shit. At least my president protects me. Again, man, stop talking about Grisha. He's a kid, and one day his eyes will open. It's not even worth it. Don't Socialist talk to him Party to organize, particularly in the white community, for reparations to African people. Africa is the future. It is the youngest continent on the planet. There is so much potential there. Living there, it's so dynamic. There's so much opportunity. It is literally the future. It will drive innovation from the youth and from additional investment. What are three of your favorite things about Africa? Oh, wow, okay. I was in West Africa and they joke a lot with each other. And so like if I'm Tore and you're Koulibaly, yeah. um, I'd be like, oh, you eat beans. And you'd be like, oh, well, you're my slave, so. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I hope that woman never uh, works for Twitch one day. I'm gonna be in trouble. Uh, uh, what? Can I get $5? I don't have any cash, but I can Venmo you. I only got cash app. Oh, I got cash app. 
Oh, okay, cool. Shout out Cash App. Cash App is the best that service ever. Kind of fuck Cash App. Shout, Shout out, out to Cash, Cash App. App. The best way to send reparations. Uh, if you're <laughs> reincarnated, would you be white again? I want to say no. I would love to be like part of the black community, like for real. But I also know that that's kind of like signing myself up for issues in life. But you know, I don't know, man. I like loved being in Africa, so like I would be very happy to be like a West African, like a Malian specifically. They're the best people. They're like so kind and cool and honest. Yeah, I fuck with Mali. <laughs> oh, do you live in Oakland now? By the way, guys, cringe is the youth word in Germany, 2021. 2012 just called. They want their word back. Yeah, I do. Yeah. How long, how long have you lived out here? Two years. Cool. So going into the rally, I didn't know what to expect. I realized that most of these people weren't even from Oakland. Uh, a lot of these people was from like Virginia, well, Boston, Santa Cruz, San Diego. And the thing about Oakland is it's a well, majority black city, right? Was it Chocolate City, as, it, as some people would say? Is that what they said? That, I think that's what they used to call cities, like Chocolate City or some shit like that. It was a majority black population. But Uhuru's platform for reparations does not address anything in the Bay Area. All the money collected at that march was supposedly going to the construction of a basketball court in St. Louis, Missouri. Niggas love basketball. <laughs> He said that. I didn't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing though. But that's not really going to uplift the community as much as like some type of educational institution, uh, uh, something that'll help people out, like free lunch programs. The basketball course seems kind of redundant to me, especially if you're in Oakland. So Oakland has become one of the hottest rental markets in the Bay Area. Now people who've lived in the city for decades are getting pushed out. Well, the reality of it's everywhere in the world, man, in Germany a lot too. Provocation is hitting Oakland's LGBTQ community tonight. The building that serves as headquarters for Oakland Pride has been sold to a real estate firm. Me and my daughter got regentified to North Richmond. Spacious lofts and turn of the century Victorians, West Oakland has been a hot spot for local artists and musicians. It, it's a, kind of a quintessentially West Oakland kind of Sounds a like space. So the mayor of Oakland announced she's creating a special cabinet to look at housing and affordability. According to the East Bay Equity Atlas, Oakland's black community has decreased by 25% in the past 10 years and 91% of low income homes of color are currently in areas that are actively gentrifying or about to gentrify. This is a result of big tech's takeover of the Bay Area, which has caused home prices to rise while wages for the working class have remained the same. I mean, we should Oakland look and see how many basketball courts are in St. Louis. <laughs> It just seems extremely racist to me. I don't know. I just, a group of uh, all white people go to historically one of the blackest cities in California, the home of the Black Panthers, and um, they want to collect money from other white people, but like not marching through white neighborhoods and um, build a basketball court so we can ball up. It's St. Louis, Missouri. Yeah, like on the other side of the country. Somewhere <laughs> where- and that, that, I mean, I didn't watch this before. This is what I was saying. It's the core of the message makes sense. These young people have a, have a point. But as I said 10 minutes ago, the measurements and the behavior they do and, and the goals they have are so off and, and dumb and unserious. I mean, he's just saying the same. It's just... The people who donated the money will never be able to see shit that might come out of there. You know what I mean? Who knows? If Michael Jackson, then, then oh shit. <laughs> if, the next, if the next Kobe Bryant <laughs> come out St. Louis, Missouri from the Uhuru Solidarity Basketball Court, <laughs> nobody in Oakland will be able to be like, I seen that kid, I grew up with him. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, I magic you know, I know, we decided to see what's up with people from the town, actually from the community. Well, all I heard. Oh, here we go, here we go. Now they talk to real people, man. Real people. It was white solidarity. I said, oh, I better get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, what the? <laughs> Wait, what? Huh? You're yeah, right. I didn't, I didn't know what that meant. So. Yeah. Well, what are your opinions on reparations? I agree with it. I mean, as a people, we've been through a lot. Yeah. I mean, you, we, all, all we can do is state our case. True. You know what I mean? Just like with anything with laws and, you know, rights, you know. And hopefully uh, Congress or our, or our local officials will step in and, you know. And help out with that. Yeah, that is reality. In, in Germany, for example, there has been a, a, a vote in Berlin about the Mietendeckel, which means that rents can't go higher anymore than 15 percent, uh, trying to uh, stop this gentrification process that is bad for the poor uh, people. Uh, that is reality. Going into politics, 
getting involved in politics and not chilling on Twitter all day and hello my echo chamber let's talk get involved man get educated join a party and work for the shit man that is reality dude kind of a thing hopefully you think uh, white people are evil no I ain't saying no. I'm not saying that I'm just saying some of them are but some of them are not you think they owe us money though I don't think they should somebody should uh, you know give a little something back I think they do as a star, I think that every black person in America deserves the right to know where we come from, our ancestry, and it could be done with a DNA from our government. It would, get, again, give us knowledge. It would empower us to know who we are. Where do we come from? The slave trade, everything was lost. And the government owes us to us as a people to know where we come from. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, reparations? I think ideally it is owed, but in reality, I don't believe that it will happen. How do you put an amount on and where do you, where does it start and where does it stop? So how do you calculate? I mean, it's... I'm and that these people are just normal people and not these crazy white university students, man. America will be bankrupt, <laughs> right? What if I just start asking white problems. people for money? No, no, no. <laughs> absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a federal a government thing. We just can't start asking. You know, people were money. He doesn't owe me anything. I got twenty dollars so far. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Reparations is not going to be, you know, some sort of welfare check from the U.S. government because how could a welfare check or some sort of payout or something like that ever meet the dollar amount that's been stolen from African people? How do you define? what George Floyd's life was worth, you know, in terms of the culture that he brought to the, the family, his role as a father and what he brought to his community. So who controls where all the money goes when y'all collect reparations? The furniture store, um, I, don't know, I think it's a great way that to raise money for the movement. Shut up, Chet. You be very careful now, Chet. You be very careful, boys. Oh, you be very fucking careful. Well, you're going to the pit, boys. Um, they also have great stuff. Like, I've bought oh, a lot of stuff. Oh, 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 so easy, man. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Too easy, man. From here. And... So, what does the furniture store do with the money? Well, I don't know exactly how they use the money, but I think they use it for like the same kind of thing that we're marching for today to to build resources um and to invest in the black community in the u.s just yeah. no answers man no ideas no answers, go to the, uh, just blah, the basketball. Blah, blah. i want to feel better about myself man very very good video man this guy is fucking this is the future man this guy i swear to god very interesting video very emotional topic man and once again, I want to make it clear for all the idiots out there that want to write articles about me, man. I, I, I agree with the core of this. Just the way you fucking get to it. Maybe she'll be a bit more adult. That's my point. Ugh. Finish it to kill the climax? I like to kill the climax. Ask your mom about it.